officers searching the area he was last seen in. But first, we go to the iTeam's Vanessa Murphy live studio, who just talked with the child's maternal grandmother, who is in Colorado. It's an interview you are seeing here first on Channel 8. Brian, Carrie Howard says Amari's mom, Taylor Nicholson, who's her daughter, landed in Colorado to help her recover from surgery on April 30th. She tells me they FaceTimed with Amari that night and he seemed happy, but that's the last time she says she saw her grandson. She says in the following days, she did not see her daughter FaceTime with Amari again. Then her daughter said she received a call that he was kidnapped and she rushed back to Las Vegas. She also said says she believes her daughter and her boyfriend's story isn't adding up. We're not thinking that your boyfriend who just gave your son away to a stranger, like you, you're not finding anything wrong with that. I'm terrified over here. I'm a freaking mess. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't heal. She also tells me Amari was also supposed to visit her in Colorado and she purchased a plane ticket for him, but her daughter decided to leave him in Las Vegas with her boyfriend instead. I called Amari's mother, mother Taylor Nicholson, today. We briefly talked, and when I asked her more about her boyfriend's story, it appears she hung up. Back.